Good morning, class. Thank you for joining Ms. Rosa today. We are going to be reading the book called Get, Set, Swim by Janine Atkins, illustrated by Hector Viveros Lee. Jesenia's ponytail swished as she skipped downstairs. Hurry, mommy, she called. This was Jesenia's first year on the swim team. Her first meet at a rival's team's pool. At the door, Mommy tucked the box into her purse and pinched her scarf together against the cold. Jesenia raised her brother Luis down the street. Watch where you're going, Mommy said. Stick together. At the community center, Jesenia climbed on the bus and sat with Anna. When Luis tried to balance on the seat behind him, Mommy settled him down by talking about when she'd been a girl in Puerto Rico. Our house was so close to the ocean that it stood on stilts, Mommy said. We used to slide down the grassy hills on palm leaves. The sky was very, very blue. Like that? Luis pointed to the sky outside the window. No, Mommy looked over the tall, crowded buildings. The sky isn't blue enough. Jesenia was tired of the dreamy way Mommy spoke about the brilliant blue sky and sea that seemed to stretch forever. She pressed closer to the older girls in the seat ahead of her. Weston won by eight points last time, Nicole said. We never win meets away from home. In Puerto Rico, there are green lizards that cling to whatever they bite, Mommy told Luis. We girls used to hang them from our ears. Luis put his thumbs to his earlobes and waggled his fingers like lizards. Yesenia turned to the window thinking about how her mother had never learned to swim. Mommy had made sure that she and Luis got swimming lessons, but it took more than dreams to win a race. Jesenia was scared. How could they compete against the lucky girls who lived in these houses? As the space between the houses widened, so did the empty space inside Jesenia. The bus stopped at West End School. Mommy kissed the top of Jesenia's head. She smiled as if she were breathing in a garden, though Jesenia knew her hair smelled just like the pool. Te amo. Mommy said, I love you too, Jesenia replied. In the locker room, the girls pulled on their swimsuits and tucked their pointy tails into caps. They stretched in the hallway as Coach Estes said, don't worry because the pool here is bigger. Everyone is equal in the water. Their pool probably isn't broken half of the winter, Nicole muttered. There are more girls on their team. Just keep your eyes on where you're going, Coach advised. Now get in there and win. The first race was for the older swimmers. The water surface broke with thundering dives. Jesenia cheered. It was hard to tell one girl from another until they turned. Then Jesenia recognized the way Nicole pulled her in her knees before whipping them out. She sped ahead and ran triumphantly into the wall. Soon, it was Jesenia's turn to stand on the edge of the pool between two girls from the other team. The overhead lights buzzed. The pool hummed. Jesenia rocked from toe to heel. She tried to breathe long and deep into her belly, the way the coach had taught her, but short breaths caught at the back of her tongue. Mommy waved. Luis waggled his fingers like lizards. Jesenia's feet pressed flat on the smooth platform. Get ready, the coach called. Goggles snapped as the girls pulled them on. Jesenia leaned toward the water. The empty space inside her seemed to fill with the marvelous blue that Mami remembered from Puerto Rico. The pool was exactly blue enough. Get set. Go, the girls dived. The quiet still water churned frothy and loud. Water streamed off Jesenia's goggles and rushed past her ears. She stretched her arms as long as mommy did when she walked about the great white sea. Then Jesenia caught sight of the girl in the next lane moving ahead. 
Yesenia gulped in some water. Her tired legs sank. She kicked hard again until one finger touched the end of the pole. She splashed up and gasped for air. Great race, Coach Estes gave her a handout. You just lost a few seconds at the end when you looked to the side. Mommy was there and hugging her before Jesenia could warn her and Luis that they'd get wet. I'm so proud of you, Mommy said. Jesenia pulled on a sweatshirt to watch more races. As the afternoon wore on, it became clear they were going to lose the meat. Jesenia cheered even louder and hugged her friends harder. When it was her last turn to swim again, Jesenia tried to fill herself with calming air, but she kept taking quick, nervous breaths. She shifted her weight from one foot to the other. She wondered if she could swim fast enough to win. Jesenia rose to her toes. She curled her arms and shoulders like a wave. You can do it, Jesenia seemed to hear her mother's voice as her hands broke the water. She sped ahead fast, faster, not only for herself and for her team, but for mommy too. She didn't look back. She didn't look to the side. Jesenia swam with all the strength of her mother's dreams for her. Then her fingers tapped the wall. Joyful girls pulled Jesenia from the pool crying, you won, you won. Jesenia turned to her mother and said, Te amo. I love you too, mommy smiled. When the meet was over, the girls changed and dried their hair. Mommy gave Jesenia a box as they stepped outdoors. Gracias, Jesenia laughed as she pulled out earrings shaped like lizards. She slipped them on and danced a little salsa to make the earrings wiggle. Let's go, Jesenia, Anna said. The sky had turned a brighter blue. Their team would win another time, Jesenia knew. She spun around to call, we'll be back. And that's the end, friends. Until next time, be well.